Yo, what is going on? I hope that you are having an exceptional Sunday. I'm about to go down to Pine Bluff and check on my two properties I bought last year. Uh, they were just vacant lots. If you watched the vlog that I recorded and posted last January or February, uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I haven't been there since I bought them and since I recorded that video. And I think it's prime time now for me to kind of scope out the area a little bit more tour the properties. And uh, I don't want that to just be like the only thing in the portfolio. So one of the big focuses later this year is going to be making investments and buying some more land and some more things that I could do as I scale the empire uh, moving forward and get some some other things you know going okay so we just pulled up to one of the properties now my lot is not this that you're seeing right now this is like where people have dumped all of the garbage and all of the crap over the past year now there was trash on the street which is you know the street that my property is off of and it was rough like there was dumping but it wasn't to this degree it's actually crazy because it goes from the end of the street all the way back there now my land is actually this lot you know it's a six thousand foot lot or whatever but it appears that people have decided over the past 12 months uh to just dump all of their garbage all of the different things like their tires lampshades um, and it's really a lazy excuse. It's, it's a lazy excuse for anybody to do. Um, so again, I don't know what I'm necessarily going to be able to do with this without investing a whole lot of time and money to number one, clear the street. And then there are obviously trees. So it's like, if I was to put, let's say a trailer or get it to where there's water and electricity, which wouldn't be that difficult because it's right off of the street, but to clear that land for 6,000 square feet, um, for a lot with the area and with the, the things that are around here. I really don't know if it would make any sense. Um, so this is the first property. I'm not really gonna be spending too much time here. Uh, I might actually see if I could contact the city and see what it would be to get it cleared. Um, because this is honestly a health hazard, you know, in, in, in general to begin with. So <laughs> this is just, you know, this is the, the aspect of getting involved with real estate or getting involved with business. And it has just been lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson for me over the past year, dealing with aspects of business that I did not want to deal with, um, whether that be refunds, whether that be contract disputes, whether that be lawsuits, whether that be uh, just dealing with clients or dealing with mental health to where you don't want to do anything or dealing with just all of the different challenges that people don't want to talk about because they're not sexy. I think this is a perfect representation of that because you can buy a piece of property, you could buy something, but you cannot control another person's outcome or another person's actions rather. So you cannot really direct and control that outcome to the same degree that you can in other areas of your life, other aspects of your life, because people are the X factor. People are the un, really, uh, you know, the unforeseeable uh, factor there to where you cannot, you know, predict the future, predict their actions. So, you know, unpredictable beings. So time to go to the other property and hopefully it's a little bit more promising, which I have a feeling it is. This is the one that's right off of the cemetery. So catch you guys in a minute. I guess on the bright side, I do have some water. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at the second property that I own and I'm really grateful to know that number one, uh, this property is not trashy. There's definitely some potential here. And number two, that since the time I was here last, which was February, 2022, uh, uh, it was just all dead. It was, it was winter, you know, coming into this, you know, early, early spring and it was just all brown. It was not really a great looking property, not really attractive. But now, again, all the way down to that fence line in the back, about 100 feet, this is a 4,000 square foot lot. Um, this one I could see spending a little bit of money getting uh, you know, the water hooked up because it's really simple. The water line is right here for the city, down here, <laughs> and then you know, hooking up to power and I could you know, put a trailer on here or something and rent it for, I don't know, 600 a month. Um, obviously that's just speculative. I don't know if I'll do anything here. I might put a mailbox and just get a mailing address. Uh, but all in all, I'm definitely, you know, more grateful to know that checking in with this one, um, you know, it's, it's with, you know, it's withhold, you know, the test of time. And there's actually a cemetery way back there as well. So again, even if I don't do anything with this property, uh, I wait a couple years, I pay $25 in property taxes, you know, every year for the next, you know, couple years. 
uh, the city of Pine Bluff could very well buy this property off of me because the cemetery is right there. So not trying to profit off of dead people, but there could definitely be, you know, various ways to where I can make my money back. And if not, um, I still only pay $275 for this lot. The other one I paid $275 for. So all in all, $550 plus cheap property taxes. Um, I'm not really complaining, not really uh, a way. Again, this is like my ground, this is my dirt. This is what I said last year when I was here. And um, to me, that just kind of sparked the addiction as you get more revenue, as you get more cash flow, you're looking for things to kind of build your empire. And um, unlike a lot of other people that are in real estate, uh, I don't want to ever sell my land unless it's absolutely necessary or I get a really crazy offer, i.e. from the city to purchase it. Uh, I want to keep my land. I want to keep every single thing that I own because that's the one thing that you're never going to get, you know, more of on earth. It's not like you can print more money. It's not like you can, or not like money rather. It's not like you can print more land. So super excited here. Uh, again, grateful that this is in decent condition. Thank you guys for following along about a head on back. So with that being said, hit the follow button, leave a comment if you've bought land yourself uh, or if that's something you want to do. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really complaining. So have a great day.